Shaheen Afridi is a left-arm fast bowler for Pakistan. He's the leader of the bowling attack and is the talisman the captain turns to when the team needs a wicket. With over 100 wickets each in both Test and ODI cricket, at the young age of 23, Afridi stands to be another addition of Pakistan's greatest fast bowlers. Afridi has the ability to swing the ball both ways. When he first entered the international stage, he could bowl upwards of 90 miles per hour, but in recent times we have seen his pace decrease due to a combination of injuries and form. The ability to swing the ball still remains and it's a potent weapon to the right hand Handers. Tactically, he can move the ball across the right-handers to drag them across the stumps and swing the ball back in sharply to trap them LBW or bald. Afridi's wrist position behind the ball is the main contributing factor in being able to swing the ball. He has a solid wrist position with a lovely snap behind the ball. This allows him to adjust his wrist position to swing the ball both ways. Here you can see Afridi keeps an upright wrist position to angle the seam towards fine leg. This seam position is to swing the ball back into the right-handers or out to the left-hander. Here's an example of the outswinger to the right-hander. Afridi collapses his wrist slightly on the right side of the ball to push and angle the ball across. In the side-by-side -side comparison, you can see the subtle differences of the wrist position and position of the fingers on the ball. Due to the whippy nature of Afridi's wrist, he can surprise the batsman with the short ball. The short ball tends to cut back and generate speed off the wicket, which catches the batsman by surprise. This is another facet of his game that doesn't get highlighted enough as it allows him to pin the batsman back to set up the full delivery. Afridi is very experienced when it comes to white ball cricket. In an age where batsmen can clear the boundary with ease and where it's raining sixes, fast bowlers need to have an array of weapons to outfox the batsman. Afridi has the ability to bowl slower ball cutters into the pitch, utilizing the angles from over or around the wicket. His modus operandi when bowling the slow ball is to bowl off cutters by rolling his fingers down the side of the ball to impart revs which in turn will grip off the pitch. Afridi's biggest weapon and well-renowned wicket-taking delivery is the Yorkers. Old ball or new ball, Afridi has the ability to bowl nailed on Yorkers hitting the base of the stumps. With the new ball, he utilizes the swing on offer and slips in the Yorker length delivery to catch the batsman off guard. With the old ball, he utilizes the reverse swing to bowl sharp and late in-swinging Yorkers to trap the batsman. The ability to conjure up a Yorker is one of the reasons why he's such a potent bowler. Another facet of Afridi's bowling repertoire is to bowl from around the wicket. This is a key tactic that comes into play when the ball is not moving as much or if there isn't much lateral movement off the pitch. By coming around the wicket, he creates the angle to the right-hander and can use the natural flick of the wrist he has or the ability to bowl cutters to try and extract movement away from the batsman. In all, Afridi has many skills in his bowling armory and as fans, we tend to forget he's still only 23 years old, which says a lot about his impact on the international stage when so many expect so much from him. The key to his future success is the management of his workload and him being selective in which tournaments and matches he plays in to stay fresh and injury-free.